Back in 1952, the US Air Force started flying a monster of a machine called the B-52 Stratofortress. Designed at a time when the US and Soviet Russia were at each other's throats, it was supposed to carry nuclear weapons and drop them on the enemy if needed. Luckily, that wasn't the case. Unknown to the people of that time, the Boeing B-52 would continue to serve as part of the country's triad of nuclear bombers, alongside the newer B-1B Lancer and B-2 Spirit, for the next seven decades, and it still is in operation today. Moreover, it'll continue to form the backbone of America's strategic bomber fleet, at least until 2050. In doing so, the B-52 will become the first aircraft in history to be in service 100 years after it was originally made. That it's an impressive feat, but one that would not be possible without some serious upgrades performed on the machine. We've known for several years the plane will serve for three more decades, and we've learned in the meantime several of the changes that will be made to it. The plane will get new wheels and brakes made by Collins Aerospace, a new electronic warfare system put together by L3 Harris, new power systems also made by Collins, and brand new Rolls-Royce F-130 engines to replace the existing Pratt and Whitney power plants. Earlier this week, another piece of the puzzle fell into place. We learned of the strategic bomber getting a new suite of radar systems. This upgrade is being performed by Boeing itself, which said it has already received the first Stratofortress to enter the assembly lines. The goal of the new system is to give the airplane fighter-like capabilities in terms of detection, accuracy, targeting, and tracking. The capability for the B-52 to engage more than one target at once is also part of the package, as is high-resolution mapping. The new radar system comprises a wide-band dome installed in the plane's nose, two high-definition displays with touchscreens, and two processors to link the radar with the other gear on board the bomber. The list of new hardware also includes two hand controllers and an active electronically scanned array radar. Boeing did not say how long it would take until all operational B-52s are fitted with the new radar system. There are quite a few such planes still in operation, 76 as of 2019, so the procedure could take a long time. As for what the B-52 will be capable of doing when all the upgrades are completed, that's still a pretty blurry picture. In its current form, the B-52 can fly for a total of 8,800 miles, at speeds of 650 miles per hour, carrying an impressive arsenal of weapons.